is everywhere still coming. Uh, we've been talking about the New Zealandian dollar, which did not do much, and it's pretty much stuck. We said we might go for a long uh, if we hold uh, uh, the line, but this long never uh, was successful, as you can see. Uh, it bounced, but never bounced above 87, and the protection was very small. This trade lost. The question is what's, uh, what's now, and well, I think down. But I still think it should come after a correction, and maybe it's about to build it right, like here, A, B, C, D, and then drop down. Uh, if it continues straight from here, I wouldn't go for a sell here. I, I believe this, um, the current sell is limited, if uh, if any, and if it would be if it would drop, I would simply uh, switch. Are looking for buys between these two uh, highs, then uh, lows. Then after that, okay, if it continues lower, I would be looking to buy between these two lows with a bullish hidden divergence and a one-hour chart divergence forming as well. Okay, so if it if it goes A B C D, I'm looking to go for a sell here with continuation to 20 MA on daily chart target, <laughs> as explained uh, yesterday. And if it just continues lower, then I would be looking to start. And find a potential buy, uh, maybe around uh, 80, uh, 8630, uh, maybe a bit lower around 08610, somewhere in between. And uh, anyway, from my point of view, as long as we respect this small area right here, and that's uh, 08550 in the average, uh, I would be looking for buy opportunities from bottoms, or as I said, if we rally from here then sell opportunities with retest of the line and uh, with a potential bearish divergence to form just continuation to the daily 20 ma